I thought I had figured out the perfect way to eat maca. When I was 18, I loved making superfood smoothies. They gave me feelings of mental clarity and both physical and mental energy that I had never experienced before. I started making them with some orange juice, frozen fruit, hemp protein, spirulina, chlorella, hemp seeds, and a few other things. Now, I've been reading about the benefits of maca for energy, endurance, hormone health, sexual performance, and I wanted all of this. So I got an eight ounce bag of maca powder and tried putting a tablespoon of it into my smoothie. Now, my smoothie was already pretty gnarly tasting as it was, but I had no problem drinking it because I knew how good it was gonna make me feel. But when I put the maca in there, it totally dominated the drink, like a drunk frat guy walking into a gathering of awkward introverts. I tried doing this for a while, but the flavor was just too much. Some people might tell you that maca has an earthy, nutty, slightly sweet flavor with hints of butterscotch and caramel, but it's also got a very distinct funk to it. As soon as you open a bag of maca powder, it'll hit you in the nose and you'll know exactly what I mean. It's almost like the durian of South America. I wanted to get the benefits, but I had to figure out a different way to consume it because it was making my already pretty bad smoothie downright undrinkable. I had the idea that maybe I could just take it on its own and enjoy my smoothie separately. Now, if I could travel back in time, I would have at least advised younger me to stir the maca in with a little bit of water or mix it in with some honey. But with the life experience that I had at the time, I thought it would be a great idea just to take a big spoonful of the powder, stick it in my mouth, and swallow the powder and go on with my day. Now that's what I thought would happen. But as soon as I stuck that spoon in my mouth and pulled it out clean, I realized I had made a critical miscalculation about what would happen next. I panicked and I inhaled some of the powder. Then I started coughing and I tried to keep my lips closed so I wouldn't go shooting maca all over the kitchen, but I was still getting maca coughed out through little gaps in my lips and sending out these plumes of maca powder. I got the coughing under control and I realized I was experiencing a serious lack of saliva. The maca had sucked it all up and the powder still felt totally dry in my mouth. Now, maca powder is very hygroscopic, meaning it's very good at absorbing moisture from its surroundings. I tried to keep myself calm and just take really small breaths through my nose. And I thought eventually my saliva will mix with the maca and little by little I'll be able to swallow it. But maca has such a strong tendency to clump that it just solidified like some sort of sticky concrete on the roof of my mouth and it wasn't going anywhere. It was hours before it finally all dissolved. And even then, I must have inhaled some of it up into my nasal passages or something because all day, the taste and the smell would not go away. And I thought this was gonna be the way to get maca into my system quickly and easily. Soon I started to learn that you have to be clever about how you combine these different flavors. And eventually I would have my superfood smoothie in the morning with no maca. And then in the afternoon after school and before going to work, I would blend up a second drink to keep me going. And this would be in a base of hemp milk with a frozen banana, a tablespoon of cacao powder, half a teaspoon of shilajit, and a tablespoon of maca. And it was actually pretty good. As I became healthier and things shifted in my biology, I actually came to love the flavor of maca. As they say, the only real mistakes are the ones you don't learn from. And in trying to find an easier way to take maca, I actually found the worst way to take it. But this led me down the path to eventually specializing in finding ways to make nature's most powerful and healthy ingredients delicious and easy to use. Yeah.